Water is essential to life, but what gives can also take away. At Andersonville, prisoners turned to a narrow stream and collected rainwater for drinking. As the stockade's population exploded, this stream became a quagmire of mud, stagnant water, and human waste. The polluted water claimed thousands of lives, with no relief in sight. During the second week of August 1864, 33,000 prisoners nervously watched as ominous clouds rolled in. The rain began slowly, but quickly became a deluge that saturated the thousands struggling for shelter underneath wool blankets and lean-tos. A flash flood destroyed a section of the stockade wall, and cannon shot rang out, calling the guards to their posts. The prisoners could do little but huddle together, soaking wet and cold. A few days later, as the rain subsided, prisoners found along the deadline in the eroded hillside a spring of fresh water. They began using sticks and cups to reach across for water, and soon a trough was built that funneled the clean water into the stockade. Some, believing that the appearance of the spring to be a miracle of God, began calling it Providence Spring. Within a month of the spring's appearance, the majority of the prisoners were evacuated to other facilities, but stories of Providence Spring quickly spread. One of the first written accounts of the spring came from Clara Barton in her report of the Army's expedition to the site. By the early 1900s, a story emerged that lightning struck inside the prison stockade and that a spring burst forth in a tremendous geyser. This account reinforced the belief that the prisoners were spared through divine intervention. In 1901, the Woman's Relief Corps and Andersonville survivors dedicated a spring house, making Providence Spring the only feature inside the stockade walls to be preserved. For 150 years, Providence Spring has been an important stop for visitors to Andersonville. For previous generations, no trip to Andersonville was complete without taking a sip from the spring. Today, Providence Spring is a place where visitors can touch and feel the cool waters that gave life and hope to thousands of Americans. <laughs>